66 Signet Square moving inventory on the 27th of August 2020. So I'm just heading on into the apartment. Just gonna close the door. So the chain's working and the lock's working. The chain. So the front door is clean with no dust, no black scuff marks, no cause for concern. And then you've got a white black carpet here, which is clean with no hairs, no dust, no little bits, no stains. Let me get closer. And then you've got a freestanding unit, which is clean with no damage. So I'm going to do the ceiling first. White ceiling, clean, light bulb working and present. There's no stains, there's no cobwebs. So that little shadow is from the lights, so it's not a stain. So just carry on down, clean condition with no cobwebs, no marks, no cause for concern. Only issue is, is obviously the hallway um, smoke alarms down. However, there is one in the kitchen and because it's one floor, you only need one fire alarm. So the ceiling's all clean and white with no cobwebs. Both light bulbs are working with lampshades present. So I'm just going to start here and go up and down the walls. I close the living room door as well. I'll get the doors in at the same time. So the door itself is clean. However, you do have scuff marks visible. So along there, so I'll just say it's probably a bit bigger than my finger, the mark. Another small dot with paint peeled or patchy paint in this section more issues with the paints peeled up here as well as you can see it's quite small compared to my nail and then towards the bottom it's a mark on the door but there's no dust so you can see the frames are marked it's like something was stuck on the on the frame again you can see it's not it's not damaged it's just a cosmetic issue but there's no dust or cobwebs so I'm just going up and down, the clean condition of the walls, no black scuff marks, no handprints, no pencil or pen marks. However, you can see obviously the crack in the ceiling, no marks from any furniture, no damage. You also get to see the skirting boards are clean with no dust or hairs. Door to the smallest bedroom and the frame is clean with no concerns, no issues, with no dust. With no dust however you can see some marks on the door quite small marks nothing large but it's all been noted black scuff mark and a couple of few marks but you get to see there is no dust and just in between the walls are clean with no cause for concern no damage, I'm just going to get nice and close to it so you can see. The paint has peeled along the corner, but that's just general wear and tear. Door to the biggest bedroom, so this is marked in places. This is marked in places, and obviously on the door frame, paint has peeled. And then slightly lower down, you do have a maybe a, a mark, size of my small finger. And another black mark, scuff mark. Paints peeled and paints peeled on the door frame. Just going around, going up and down the walls, generally in good condition. There is no pencil marks, no pen marks, no handprints, no black scuff marks or marks of any furniture. And even you can see, because it's glass, you can see in between there's no scuff marks or damage. going up and down clean condition you do have a mark here where paint is starting to peel and a chip in the wall here so it's probably the same size as my nail and just at the back of the front door just above is clean with no cobwebs and even around the light switch and the intercom no concerns no black scuff marks or handprints just going back to the wall so you do have along the corner all the way down, paint's peeled and a mark on the wall. So it's quite faint. It's the same size of my, well, smaller than my little ring, um, little finger, and a couple of more scuff marks. 
present. Just go around, you've got a unit. Let's have a couple of letters, empty with no damage. And up is clean. So that is just a shadow, not a mark. Just going up and down, clean condition. And then just along the line, you can see where the paint's peeled. You've got a couple of, I want to say handprints. And this is the door to storage. So that's clean with no marks or damage. And then this is the door to the bathroom. And that is the door to the living room kitchen. So no um, damage or marks. You can see a couple of few general handprints, but there's no, no damage. And the carpet, you can still see the carpet lines from the hoover. So there's no hairs, no dust. If I go this way, so you can see there's no hairs, no dust, no stains. You can still see the carpet lines. There's no bits. It's just starting to turn black around the edges, but there's no, no concerns. Okay. So I'm going to head into the biggest bedroom. So I'm going to pop the light on. So behind the door is clean with no cause for concerns, no damage. And the ceiling, so the ceiling is clean, however, you've got a crack with a nail exposed, another small mark, and then another one. This is just in front of the wardrobe, but they're quite faint mark. So if I just keep going round, and you can see the light bulb's working and present with lampshade, just above the French doors, you've got another plaster exposed with nail. And it looks like that's in different colour as well. If you do look at the ceiling, it was very faint, but it looks like it's a different colour. Okay, and we're just going to go up and down the wall. So this is behind the door then. So generally it's in good condition. However, you do have black scuff marks visible, quite faint, and a couple of handprints. Then you've got a two-door sliding wardrobe. Obviously damaged glass, but clean. Underneath, underneath, sorry, inside is open, fine with no concerns, empty. Then you can see they're both open clean, in between is all clean with no hairs. And then just go up and down, so you've got a handprint here. Three fingers, one, two, three. Again, quite faint. Bedside cabinet, clean, white, with no damage on top. Top drawer, empty and clean. With bottom drawer, also empty and clean, with no hairs or dust. So just going around the bed, you're just going up and down. You can see it's in clean condition, with no cause for concerns, no damage. You've got a white bed frame with mattress protector washed just need to see the bed frame it's clean with no concerns this is just all the way around and then just going back in front to the walls going up and down it's clean condition with no black scuff marks no handprints and no pencil marks chester drawers white clean i'm just gonna move the curtain so it's clean on top you do have a couple of small little chips on top so drawer one empty and clean drawer two empty and clean drawer three also empty and clean and drawer four, empty and clean. Just to make you look, note though, um, the second drawer, as you can see, has dropped. But it's clean and empty. So this is left side. You can see there's a mark on the wall. But there's no damage or anything hidden. 
So I'm just going to do the curtains. So you can see they are window length, like door length, clean with no concerns. And on the left side and the right side at the top, you can see where the old brackets used to be. And so it is, there's got four holes in the wall, but it's clean condition with no damage. This is just the right side underneath the curtains. And this is just me going up and down. So you do have a few very faint black scuff marks now. There you go. If I zoom in, you can just about make it out. Again, quite faint. And then just going to go up and down. And then actually, you do have a more black scuff marks here. And then dust. So this section of the skirting boards is a visible dust. Um, and apart from that, there is no dust on the skirting boards. So just going up and down, clean condition, radiator's clean, however the side panel, as you can see, has a gap. So just going up and down, clean conditions, with no concerns, no damage. Just on the light fittings, you do have a few handprints. And then towards the bottom, clean condition. When you go to the skirting boards and look up, you do have two scuff marks and a very faint one in the middle along with one above and the carpets as you can see you can still see the carpet heart lines all been hoovered with no hairs no dust no damage this just looks like a a stain there's a stain there if you just get all my four fingers together that's the size of it so it looks like a burn mark And then obviously we open the curtains, and lift the, this up, we refer to the curtains, it's clean with no issues and then under the bed, it's all empty. So I'm just going to do the doors. The doors are clean from the inside with no concerns. Window frames are clean with no dust or damage. Panels are also clean. You do have a couple of coppers at the top. And obviously you can see the paint started to crack. But there is there's no cause for concern at all. Actually, you do have a couple of handprints here as well. Okay, doors open fine. With no issues. I'm just going to leave the door open though, just to get some nice fresh air in. And then, and I'm just walking to the hallway, you can see the carpet's been pulled and it's starting to uplift, so you just need to keep an eye on that. So I'm just going to head into the second bedroom. First thing I want to do is the curtains, that they're closed with no concerns, no damage. Then I can open it up and let lateral light into the into the room. Bro. So behind the doors clean with no black scuff marks, no damage. Ceiling is white, clean, with no cause for concern, no cobwebs, no black scuff marks, light bulbs working and present. And then you just have like a hook in the ceiling. So I'm just going to get up and down. So this is behind the door then. Generally in good condition with no black scuff marks, no handprints, no damage. You've got a three door wardrobe which is clean with no marks, no cause for concern. Just on the side then you do have a couple of blue little tiny marks. And then at the bottom of the middle door you have scuffs. So left side. Oh, you've got a couple of letters in here. Oh, these are all the brochures, leaflets and how to use the appliances, so I'll leave that in there. But you can see it's empty and clean with no issues. Let's do the right side and the left in between. Empty and clean with no concerns. And obviously you've got your two drawers at the top. And then left of the window. Clean condition, with no issues, no concerns, 
the windows frame, the windows clean with no dirt, no mold, no damp. And then you've got your single bed, which is clean. And obviously empty from the bottom. And the bed top clean. We do have a, a duvet, so I'm just gonna. Oh no, this sorry, this is not a duvet, this is a mattress protector. So I'm just gonna sink that back in. As you can see, there's no stains or concerns, which is quite big for the bed. I think it might be a double, maybe. Um, and then I'm just gonna move the right side curtain so it's clean condition, no cause for concern, no black scuff marks, no handprints. No pencil marks or pen marks. Just going up and down. Then you've got your white chest of drawers. Clean. So no damage from the top. Top drawer empty and clean. Second. Empty and clean. Third. Empty and clean. And the last one. Empty and clean. So just going up and down. So there's no black scuff marks. No handprints. No cause for any concern. And you've got a unit which is clean with no issues. Good condition. You do have a couple of um, handprints just towards the bottom of the light switch and further up, but really faint. That's above the door. So the carpet has all been hoovered. You can still see the carpet lines. There's no hairs, there's no dust. There is, however, a stain. There's one stain here and another stain there. So it's just big, bigger than my foot. But you can see that it's clean with no issues. So again, I'm just gonna open this window as well, just to let some nice fresh, fresh air in. And then just going back to the windowsill, you can see it is marked. And this is loose. And you can see the two different colours of the paint. Okay. I'm going to head into the storage unit. So it does have a couple of items in at the moment. Um, so feel free to to use them and it is marks on the wall visible but not deep strong marks see that's your fuse box the door's clean with no concerns no black scuff marks or damage if you just look at the top though there is a mark on the door here same length as my nail and then a small dot and the marks at the top and the paint's peeled on your door frame just going to head into the bathroom So the door, okay, so the door is in okay condition. However, you can see where the paint's starting to peel. Starting to crack. But there's no dust. And obviously at the bottom, top, it's starting to crack. Obviously paint on the door frame is missing. So I'm just going to get something to keep the bathroom door open with. Okay, so I'm just in the bathroom then. The ceiling is white, clean, with no mould stains, no cobwebs, no paint peeling. Good condition. It's not actually white, it's like a magnolia. And obviously light bulbs working in present. Flooring is lino, clean, hoovered, mopped, with no hairs, no dust, no dirt. As you can see. And I'm just going to go up and down the walls. So, starting on this side. You can see, obviously, near the sink where the paper paint has peeled. Maybe that's because, obviously, the water's splashing against the, the wall. And you can see the skirting boards as well. Your paint's peeled. So, up and down. Clean condition. With no cobwebs. Again, paint's peeled just um, after the tiles. Good condition for the mirror, no dust, no damage. Tiles around the sink are clean with no concerns. Sealant is okay. You do, however, have some speckles and visible signs of mould. 
sink, it's clean. So left side. Ooh. I think the water's been turned off. I'll have to go double check. And underneath the tiles are clean with no concerns. Bathtub, bath is clean. And you can see your ceiling is starting to uplift. So do report that to the landlord. And you can see the ceiling does need redoing. It doesn't look like it's been a professional job. But see inside your bath, it's clean with no dirt, no hairs. Just gonna go up and down the tiles at their clean condition with no damage and white grout clean. Up and down. Shower glass is clean with no lime scale. And the bath panel is also in good condition. So just around the toilet, so you do have a large crack on the toilet. Flush is fine with no hairs, no dirt. And the crack. Around the toilet's clean with no marks. You do have some clean products. The duck has some toilet roll. Tiles are clean and behind is also clean with no damage. So the wall opposite the bath, I'm just going to go up and down showing you it's clean condition with no concerns. No handprints, no mould. Paint is peeling just behind the radiator slightly. The radiator is clean. And that's above the door. So I'm just going to head into the living room. That's just my card again. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly do the curtains, then I can open the door. Curtains are currently closed with no damage, no marks, no holes. Looks better when you do it with natural light. Okay, so behind the door. Behind the door is clean with no damage and no marks, currently closed. Ceiling is clean. With no cause for concern, no damage. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the whole living room, kitchen, ceiling together. So I'll go up and down. Light bulbs working at present in the living room. Just gonna get different angles, work our way around. No cobwebs. Another set of light and lampshade working at present. Head into the kitchen. You do have grease marks visible on the kitchen ceiling. Light bulb working and present. Mark paint peeling in that corner above the units. And your units above the units, you've got different colour paint just where the pipe is. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the cutlery first, just going over what's in the property. It gives everyone a good idea of what's left and what's missing. I'm just going to go around the room. So I'm going to start on this wall here. So in every okay condition, you do have handprints towards the bottom of the light switch and obviously paint on the light switch with paint peeling on the side. No pen marks, no pencil marks, no black scuff marks. Just going to go down. So just above the unit, you do have a couple of marks on the wall. 
itself so it's not black it's actually in the wall so it maybe affected the plaster you've got a unit which is clean freestanding with no concerns radiator does have a couple of speckles on but it's clean with no damage no rust up and down clean condition and then just left of the curtain the window and above see a couple of speckles get a spider actually on the ceiling um so you can see the screw exposed and your ceiling's cracked only a little bit obviously it's just no concerns um left of the door you can see underneath it's clean with frames are clean glass is clean Going up and down, good condition. Oops. Doors open fine with no issues. And the steps also clean from any block, black marks or scuff marks. You do have paint peeling in that corner. Just going round to the right hand side, clean condition with no damage, no handprints. And you've got a corner bookshelf with lamp. You get to see obviously the walls behind as well that they're clean. You've got a coffee table. And you do have a mark on the coffee table. And you can see it's starting to bow as well, the shelf at the bottom. Just going to move this over here so you do have a couple of marks above the radiator really faint though there we go really faint marks radiator's clean and above no handprints no scuff marks you've got a sofa which does could do with a bit of a clean um, but there's no visible hairs, not tested. Oh, struggled to move it as well. So I'm just moving it, just showing you that there's no, nothing underneath the sofa, no dirt or rubbish, and obviously behind the sofa you get to see another look. So you've got a shelf unit, clean condition with no damage. Don't know what this is. Oh, these are just some photos. And you've got a bin. It's got a bin bag ready. Marks on the walls here. And above clean condition. So I'm just heading to the kitchen area. Overall clean. You get to see the tiles are clean as well, with no concerns. Sealant is white, just above extractor fans, clean with no grease. Behind, empty, and the walls. You've got a mark here on the wall, and then in this corner here as well. Just gonna close the fridge. Got a couple of cobwebs in that corner. And you got a couple of black scuff marks above the fridge. With the wall in good condition. So that's the furniture. I'm gonna do the flooring now. So the flooring in the living room is clean. It's all been hoovered with no visible stains, no damage, no hairs. So obviously I've done behind the, um, underneath the sofa, so I'm just going to push the sofa back. And that's where the sofa's just been moved from. So you can see it's really good condition. And if I move the table back, the table's clean. You do have a mark here though, 
very faint mark maybe like a burn mark maybe that's what it feels like and um, then underneath the table you can see it's clean with no damage got a rug two rugs chairs and a table and then in the kitchen your flooring is lino clean hoovered with no grease it's fine to walk on it's not greasy at all all been mopped so i'm just going to do the outside of the units first clean condition this one has a brown mark there clean condition all currently closed with no concerns the handles are all clean with no grease marks and then i'm just going to do the bottom clean condition all currently closed with no grease marks no cause for any concern okay so fridge freezer beko freestanding emptying currently off with no odor no damage to the drawers i'm just going to leave that open there's no dents as well you've got a zanussi hob as you can see really good condition i'll get nice and close to it so you can see there's no grease marks there's no dirt there's no hairs but even here it's clean I'll turn it on along with the cooker hood so lots of working track fans working I think that's very greasy so this is really greasy two light bulbs working I'm gonna try the gas okay maybe I need to turn this on well, that's triggered the boiler which is brilliant Right, so I've tried to light the hobs, but there's just not enough gas supply. So I'm just going to let the boiler trickle in before I try the hob. And I'm just going to turn all this off so we know it's all working. Oven! Spotless, clean. No hairs. Let's turn the light on. Okay, you can't just turn the light on, so I can't even put the flash on. But you get to see it's clean, like I can touch it without putting any grease. Leaving at the bottom, clean with no grease. It's a new C freestanding washing machine. Inside clean with no hairs or dirt. So there's no hairs on top, no damage, no issues. I'm just going to try the hob now, okay? No, it's still not going through. So I'll let that sit for a little while. I'll leave those open. Okay, it's so the sink. It's got a tray. And obviously, the sink is marked. I'm just going to move all this up the way. And you could do with a reseal behind. So, left side, so the water's off as well. Right, I've just turned the cock stop off. The tap is leaking. Left side's working fine. Right side's also working fine. Whilst the water's on, just going to go test the, flush the toilet. Which is obviously still on. Oh. So the laptop obviously is working. The right tap's working. The toilet's flashing fine. I will, I'm just going to keep that on before moving. But yeah, you can see the tap is leaking. And then drain board clean with marks. 
just going to open all the unit. All units are open. Cleaning products. All our units are clean from the inside as well. So with no grease. Test the smoke alarms. Just trying to touch the smoke alarms. working fine and the hot water is working fine as well so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn it all off now um, so yeah so it's all ready for the, the tenants I'm moving